Hey, I'm Primitive Tim, and today we're going to check out a few different types of releases for when we shoot primitive bows. Now this bow right here is the bow I'm going to be using, and it's pretty light. It's probably just a little bit over 30 pounds or so, and it's, of course, a simple D-bow sort of design here. So uh, the reason I'm using such a light bow is because I'm going to be using grips that I'm just not familiar with and that are likely to feel awkward with me. Basically, you take your thumb, put it on the side, and then you take your knuckles here, and you put it right there beside it. And so let me give you the other side view of this. And you draw like that. So I'm going to be flight testing all these different types of grips just so I can watch the flight of the arrow for a good long distance. So we're going to go ahead and shoot this one up using uh, the primary grip. Alright, so the main problem I noticed with this grip is I just can't hold on to it all the way back to my full draw. And um, I'm not sure if that's just because my uh, my grip just isn't strong enough. This may be a grip I need to work up to. But um, I just wasn't able to hold on to it all the way back. Alright, so the next grip we're going to show is the tertiary grip. And I actually kind of like this one. Basically the way it works is you put your fingers, both your fingers right below it. And then you bring your thumb around the other side here. And so it's going to look like this. So let me show you from the other side. Put your fingers below it and bring your thumb beside it. And you're going to pull like that. This is the oriental thumb lock. What happens here is you slide your thumb under it, bring your forefinger and your middle finger over, and then pull back. Let me show you from the other side. Slide your thumb in, over, bring your finger over, and then pull. Next is the secondary grip. Basically with this grip, what you're doing is, you take your forefinger, go ahead and bend that back. You're going to bring these two fingers here, you're going to put them right in here. Put that, so it's almost like a pinch grip, but you're bringing these two fingers down on the string. And then you draw like that. So we'll show you from the other side. There's like 10 vultures up above me, so hopefully I don't hit one. Shoot. I almost hit one. <laughs> this is the Mediterranean grip. Basically what we're doing is we take these three fingers, two go under, one goes on top, and you just pull like that. So I'm going to show you from the other side. It's really simple, and this is what most people use. Two under, one on top, and you just pull like that. Alright, we're getting into a really weird grip right now. This is the Ishii grip, and um, basically what it looks like is you knock your arrow, and he comes around and he puts this finger curls up over it and then he grabs it like this so it's gonna be a lot more obvious from the other side comes around this fingers over it and then he grabs it like that so let's see how this type of a uh, grip works it's hard to control Sorry, Ishi, I didn't really like that grip. So those are just a few different types of grips you can use. There are more. You can use thumb rings, all sorts of things. But these are um, more primitive types of grips that you can use on your traditional bows or your primitive bows. And so um, give, give a few a try. It might turn out that you really like one because most people use that Mediterranean grip when they shoot. And I, I think that's fine, but um, there's a lot of different ways to shoot out there. And uh, Native Americans probably wouldn't have used the Mediterranean grip so much. They would have more likely used tertiary grips. And so there's a reason they did that and you don't know until you try it. So go ahead, try these different grips, see how you like them. Personally, I use like a weird, it's kind of like a tertiary grip, but it's slightly different. My fingers just shifted some. And so you can check out the video right here. And just to see my grip, I did a video on how I shoot because someone asked about it. I saw it shooting weird. 
So they said, how do you shoot, man? And so, um, go ahead and check that out. Of course, if you liked this video, you thought it was interesting, feel free to share. Um, if you have any questions, comment down below. I'll get some answers to those questions. Um, other than that, get out and shoot some arrows, guys.